What's up, everybody? It's uh, Nonstop Reef in here, and um, today we're going to be doing a little uh, cleaning of, of this three gallon frag, frag tank. If you look, the hair algae is like taking over, and I honestly haven't been uh, taking care of it too much. I've just kind of been letting it go. So today we've got to clean everything up and uh, check for pests, uh, any aptasia, and uh, we're just going to do a little cleaning, get rid of all the hair algae. So if you want, you can just check it out and uh, come along for the ride and I'll show you how to clean everything and uh, how I do it in my th three ground frag tank. And make sure you guys like and subscribe too. start with one of these so if you look there's like so much hair algae and everything on there so they're not doing too well so let's see what I like to use is a little hydrogen peroxide um, also too I have some water in here so just some regular fresh water and I like to do a little fresh water dip and a little hydrogen peroxide so and then also too I have a electric toothbrush right here it works pretty nice so all right you guys Let's start this off. I have like a probably got 20 or 30 frags, so hopefully this isn't too long of a video. All right, so so when you put the hydrogen peroxide on it, uh, starts to uh bubble right when it hits the hair algae, and it basically is killing it. Almost looks like a, like a chemical reaction. If you can see, it's starting to kill it. Also helps too when you put it in some uh, salt water. So you can put it in there and let it soak for a little bit. You'll start to see some bubbles forming. So that's what I like to do. I like to you know, put a little peroxide on them. And they'll get rid of all the hair algae. Basically does the job for us. And then afterwards we'll come come back and scrape it either with a, a little pick or we'll use the toothbrush. Sorry, my chair is a little squeaky. pop look like it died I also like to use this too, just a little sprayer. I like to just spray it with a little fresh water. You can only do this with like Zoas. Zoas are okay to do like a fresh water dip, some other soft corals too. But like you can't do, it with, do that with SPS or LPS because it'll rip the tissue off. So this one already looks way better than it was before. I think these are uh, rainbow infusion zoas. So they're really pretty. They got pink in the middle. They just haven't been coming out because all the hair algae has been bothering them. So 
like I said before, it's okay to spray those with fresh water. Actually, like, sometimes when, uh, people, uh, ship those, they actually ship them in fresh water and newspaper. Okay, that one's done. Nice and clean. This polyp right here, I think, uh, didn't make it, but still, nice and clean. Okay, on to the next one. Just see all the algae on this one. So what I like to do is just take a little peroxide first. Put a little peroxide on them. Try not to get it right in, in the uh, center, like where the mouth is. Try not to get peroxide in there. Just try to do it on the edge. I mean, if it gets in there, you can't help it. But right after I put a little peroxide on there, I put it right into the water. So it starts to do that uh, chemical reaction. It starts to bubble, killing the hair algae. Let it sit there for a few minutes. Put like a tiny bit more in there too. Let's get another one while this one's starting to soak. These are like a uh, like a bam bam. These zoos are actually really pretty. They're not as nice as bam bams, but they're still really pretty and uh, orangey color. So put a little peroxide on them. So not only is this three gallon my frag tank, it's also my quarantine as well. So any new coral I get, I always put it in there first. See this, this one, we should be able to start pulling it right off. Yeah, look at all this hair algae on here. That's why a lot of them weren't open. It's been really busy lately and I've kinda haven't been taking care of the frag tank. You don't have to use an electric toothbrush either. You can just use a regular one. But it kind of makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to scrub it. It's already looking way better. See all the, all the hair algae in there so far. Tons of it. Now make sure you get it all around the zoas. In here, take the fresh water too. This is RODI water in here. And I like to just spray it. A lot of people actually uh, do fresh water dips to get rid of uh, pests as well. Usually a fresh water dip will kill uh, bristle worms and it'll kill flat worms. I might have to put a little bit more peroxide in this one. It's got a lot of algae in it. So we'll do one more. One more thing of peroxide. We'll let that one soak a little bit. It's looking really good though. Let's start off this other one. Look at all the bubbles on that one. That's all the hair algae getting killed. This one's going to be hard because it's got a lot of zoas on it.
Also, too, another thing I use is uh, my girlfriend's makeup brush. She had, she doesn't use this one. She gave it to me, but it actually works really nice. You can go right over the polyps with it. It's a very soft brush. If you use a toothbrush and you go over the polyps like this, it'll rip it. It'll rip all the flesh. That's one nice thing about uh, makeup brushes. They're very soft. This one's got a lot. I'm going to have to do another peroxide dip in this one. Let's do a little bit of fresh water for now. Let's see what it gets off. Pretty good. So we'll put a little bit more peroxide on this one. So when you see that bubbling, that's a good sign. That means it's killing all the hair algae. So we'll put it in the other one. We'll check out the other one now. See what that one's doing. Actually it looks really nice. Hit it with a little fresh water again. This one looks done. Yeah, this one looks really good. Sometimes I like to just go over with the makeup brush just to see how if there's any algae on the actual polyps this one looks good i'm just gonna hit the outside of the plug real quick and anything we miss the cleanup crew will take care of so we don't have to worry about anything like that if we miss a tiny bit any hermit crabs or snails they'll take care of the rest Let's see how this one's doing. Oh yeah, it's looking real nice. Still, still a lot of algae in there. We'll do one more peroxide dip. And then we'll let the uh, cleanup crew do its work. As long as we get most of it, it'll be fine. All right, let's get another one out of the three gallon. Here's my Superman mushroom. Oh, look at that, there's a little baby on there. If you can see, it's a little baby. So it's actually a really pretty mushroom. I actually got this for free when I got a bunch of corals from somebody that gave it to me as a freebie and it was probably as small as this little baby one right here. And actually, the guy wasn't 100% uh, sure what kind of mushroom it was. Oh, there's actually, it looks like, is there two mushrooms there? That might actually be two mushrooms. But this one, I don't know if I'm going to put uh, peroxide on it. I might. You gotta be careful. Mushrooms are sensitive. You don't want to get any peroxide on them. Or fresh water. So this one we might just scrub as best as we can, then put it back in there. Yeah, this one we might just scrub and put back in. Like I said, the cleanup crew will take care of the rest.
Okay, I think that one looks pretty good. Give a little rinse in this red bucket over here. Anytime you see me going over here, I'm just dipping stuff in this red bucket. This just has a little bit of uh, salt water in here from the tank. Okay, I think that one looks good. A little baby down on the bottom. It's a Superman mushroom. On to the next one. Okay, let's go back to this one. The, the Bam Bams. Okay, I'm just going to do one little fresh water dip on this. And then this one we'll call it, uh, we'll call it good. And we're not going to get it all, too. But that's why you always have to have a good cleanup crew. Take care of the rest. The only thing that stinks is I have these in a three gallon, so I can't put too much stuff in there. There's still a bunch in between the piles, but we got as much as it as we could. I think that one looks good. All right, on to the next one. Got one more piece right here. Here, I grabbed two on this one. A couple more Zoas. This one's got a Big thing of hair algae on it. Looks like that piece just came right off. Looks like there's one Zoe on that one. We'll try to save that one. Do a little bit of peroxide. Now, sometimes you have to be careful of peroxide because sometimes Zoas. There are some that are very sensitive that might not like peroxide. So, just gotta be careful when you use it. Oh, look at this. A big piece of algae on there. Look at that, that's a big piece of algae. It's got a big leaf. Let's see if we can pull that off. Wow, look at that. It's crazy. Put that bucket. Let's see what this is. I think there's a, a Zoe on here. We'll see what happens. Here's a few more Zoas. We'll start doing these ones too. Just to speed this along a little bit. Do some peroxide on all these. This one actually doesn't look that bad. These ones are scrambled eggs right here. I had a huge colony of these 
and uh, it just slowly started to die. I don't know what happened. There were my 15 gallon. They just slowly over time just started dying. I think it was because they were right next to Nirvana's. And you guys know what Nirvana's are. They're pretty uh, fast growing Zoa. And they ended up just killing them. Out competing them. Alright. Let's start. You know, when you're uh, fragging zoas, you should always wear gloves and some eye protection just because of uh, palytoxin. But since I'm just cleaning these frag plugs, I decided not to use anything. As long as I don't cut them or anything, I should be good. This one looks pretty good. Looks good. I think this one looked pretty good too. Pretty good. Looks good. This one's got a lot of a lot of algae on this one. This one still has a lot of algae on it. I'll have to pick some of this stuff off. Usually, I'm not sure what name this one has. I actually got this from a fellow reefer and uh, did a little trade. I actually traded him a yellow watchman goby and a pistol shrimp. And I got a few zoas and uh, a weeping willow uh, neon green toadstool. And this is one of the ones he gave me. It doesn't have a name to it. It's orange with like a black center. Actually, really pretty. This one thing I like about the makeup brush, you can go over the polyps. It's very soft. It doesn't hurt them at all. And you can still hurt them if you're like really rough with them, but as long as you're pretty soft with it. I've never had a bad experience with doing it. Alright, I think this one looks good. We'll give it one more spray. That one looks good. I'm just going to dump this, get this out of our way. And then, I think 
get a little bit more fresh water. Okay, let's see what the next one's all about. Brush a little bit. Yeah, look at all the algae on this one. But usually, I never let it get like this. It's been being lazy. I was busy working and started becoming lazy, and that's what happens when you don't take care of your stuff. So. Be like me and wait till the last minute. These are uh, Halle Berries. I got these from Wet Pets in uh, Vernon, Connecticut. Wet Pets Emporium. It's actually one of my favorite uh, local fish stores. You can go there a lot. If you guys ever go there, check them out. And uh, make sure you tell them non-stop reef and send you. <laughs> All right, let's do a little fresh water dip. Nice and clean. All right, on to the next one. Here's the scrambled eggs. This one looks very dirty, so we'll hit the base. Whoa! I broke off the base. That's okay. We'll just glue that back on. Makes it easier to clean now. The algae is still on this base right here. I don't know what happened with these. These were like, like I said, these were my 15 gallon and they were doing amazing. And then like just... They slowly started to start dying. And before they completely died, I ended up taking the whole frag out. I just took it out before they completely died. So I saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I saved 10 polyps. So luckily I did that because they would have completely died. This is getting loose too, this rock right here. So these ones definitely need some glue on them. See, it's loose right there. And then I need to still glue it on here. So I'll just glue it on there. I think these are good. These little, like... It's weird, it's like these little tube algae. I don't know what it is. It's like a see-through algae right here. I need to take it off, whatever it is. 
I don't like how it looks. Okay. Okay, this one's all done. This one definitely needs to get glued though. Okay, what do we got left in here? We got this little pile. Whatever this one was. Let's see if there's any polyps in there. I think there's a polyp on here, bro. I'm not sure. Yeah, there is. I knew I seen a polyp on here. This might need a little bit more peroxide. I'll let that sit there for a little bit. I'll let that one sit there for a little bit. I'm going to get a few more frags. See how these guys are looking. Weird, these are some mushrooms right here. But then there's like a, a Zoa. He must have came off another plug and then flew on this one. That's pretty cool. I just hope he's not in the way of the uh of these mushrooms. Like I said, with mushrooms you gotta be careful with peroxide. But we'll go nice and easy and put it like on the edge. Because this one's got a lot of hair algae. Looks like there's one, two, there's four. It looks like Rhodactis mushrooms. 